And good morning from Scotty Ray and Candace. As we begin our Thursday morning, a big day ahead of us. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got, of course, the big debate tonight. It is. I'm keeping is it my fingers crossed that it's not like the first one. A fist you know? fight or anything quite yeah. like that. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how they're going to do the muting of the microphones. I didn't quite understand that. Oh, if you talk over somebody or go past your time, boom. Well, I know they said you'd have two minutes and then you'd be muted, but then they could come back in and counter, like, discuss mm. something that was yeah, then. It's gonna so get I don't know how all that's going to work. I'm just wondering if... If Trump's going to get a little more mutant than the other one. <laughs> I'm sure he will because he's yeah. going to be a little bit more vocal than the other guy. Yeah, I did um, hear, though, them, you know, people were talking about, oh, I wonder if he's going to bring up Hunter and all this kind of stuff, Hunter Biden. But um, somebody that I was listening to said that it'd be best if he did not bring it up. He will. Oh, I think he will, too. The but moderator actually should. They said that, yeah, they, they should bring it up. But, but he was just saying that most people don't want to hear about that they want to hear about the american people and what they're going to do for them and that should win them over but but that is something that affects mm -hmm. because that has somebody that was dirty in office is right really what, that needs to be out there it, I, it, I believe it needs to be out there too mm -hmm. but um tell me this yeah. have have you seen any christmas lights hit the streets just yet i haven't not on the streets but in the stores it's full force christmas now i hadn't driven down uh Going out to Dalewood, uh, what's the little road? Minnebucket. Minnebucket Road. Uh -huh. Have they started already putting theirs out? You know, I haven't been out there yet, but we go every year, and I love it. Uh, we do too. Yeah, it's I love pretty, it. It's a I love. Lot of work. Look, I know it is, and I I wish we had more things at our house to do like that. But um, Doctor you know, Mason. Lot, it, yeah, it's a lot of work, and you know, a lot of times they'll give hot chocolate at the end, and yeah. Um, but what I love to, I used to love to really do it like this. I would get the kids bathed and get their pajamas on when they were younger, you know. Yeah. And we would um, go through the drive-thru and get something to eat, and then we would just go out there and watch, and then they could just get in the bed when we got home. I mean, it was so neat, you know, and I love it. But still, husbands work the same way. They fall asleep real easy. Give them something <laughs> to eat, they out. I know. But hey, if you've seen some Christmas lights already, already let me know. It's, it's yeah. interesting because I think there will probably be more lights this year because it has been so much confinement. It gives you something to do outside and uh -huh. something to work for. And I just, I mean, it just gets me in the spirit seeing the lights and stuff. But um, in the stores, it, I mean, it's full force like Christmas stuff everywhere it is. already. So uh, if you I've go got so much Christmas though. I, last year when I pulled it all out, I didn't realize I had as much as I have. Yeah, it's easy to accumulate. Because I like to change my theme every oh. year. I like to, like one year I had a, which I liked the best. I had like an outdoorsy tree. Yeah. I had deer horns and birds and nests and all this kind of stuff up in my tree. It was really neat. So we'll take some pictures and show everybody. Mm -hmm. Do a live yeah. video I've got there. some pictures. I'll have to yeah, like put a little that. collage and bring it sometime. We'll do so, that for some examples. Okay. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to check uh, your, your forecast next is what we'll do to find out when that rain will get here. Plus, we're going to go over some local and some national headlines right around the corner. Uh, that's on the way with Scotty Ray and Candace. The Lauderdale County Farm Supply has so much to offer from taking care of the outside of your house, making it look good. And, of course, now they got the mums on sale for $14.99, regularly $22.99. Go by and take advantage of that. Whether you've got time this week or if you're going to be doing it Saturday morning, they'll be open for you to take care of that. A complete line of clothing if you're looking for t-shirts, blue jeans, if you're looking for uh, bib overalls, something warm, a jacket, they've got all that for you. Footwear, if you need a good pair of work boots, Georgia work boots there, along with those uh, muck boots and good boots to wear during the winter months that, uh, to keep your feet dry from all that mud and rain. When it comes to deer season, they're packed. They're ready for whatever you may be needing. The Ameristep pop-up blinds, if you're needing scents, if you're needing a, a skin and rack, they've got those for you there. Uh, scents, all of that. When it comes to your deer feeders, they've got the latest. When it comes to the Moultrie built-in varmint guard, that's a popular one this year. And, of course, they've got the gravity-fed ones as well. they got any type of uh, attitude that you might want to where they'll come up and lick these. If you've seen those, the power station, hang that in the tree. They like those along with heaters for those deer. And I know it's 80-something degrees right now, but you'll like it later when it turns cold. <laughs> of course, they've got a whole bunch of blocks. If you need one of these, a lick. They've got those with uh, many different uh, flavors to choose from. Molasses, apple, mm, you'll like those. Deer cameras, we've got those along with flashlights and more. You can choose which one you're looking for. If you need an SD card, they've got all that lined out for you there. All of your seed, plant your patches. Uh, if you're getting those last-minute ones in here before the rain comes in over the weekend, getting those done, 
Uh, they've got the Blockbuster. Of course, they've got the Southern Buck. Take care of that. Any type seed you may be looking for from wheat to ryegrass, all of that, and, well, the basics of what they started doing. That's your horse, cattle, and all your animals. They've got that, including corn, to take care of you with guns, a whole big selection there of guns, and they can also take care of those ammunition needs. See them today, Lauderdale County Farm Supply. That is exit 151 off the interstate. Drop in and see Ron and his friendly staff. Good bunch of folks that you've known for a long, long time. Well, as we get this day rolling, our weather, what, uh, what's going to be going on with it? The National Weather Service tells us uh, in our area, we'll get into it to look at the map in just a moment. Of course, our forecast being brought to you by EMEPA, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. We pull up and we see that, well, here in the Meridian area, it's going to be 85 to 87. A few clouds, early sunshine off to our southwest there, some showers today. Uh, but not necessarily our area. We don't have a rain chance today. As uh, we look at what's going on, only a 10% uh, chance over the next five days, 10 to 20% chance over the next five days, 0% uh, for the next two days. Uh, this is going to be going away from us as well. So nothing for our area to worry about right now. As we look at our temps over the next two days, we're still holding steady here. If you'll notice here with these temps here, and expect this to hang with us until about next Wednesday before we start seeing 7 degree weather again. We're ready for a little cold front to come on through. So that's what we've got so far when it comes to uh, what the National Weather Service uh, is predicting for us. As we pull up our map, let's go back over here and look at our weather map. Uh, as I mentioned here, rain chances below us for storm chances uh, all through Houston, Louisiana. Uh, and this is going to be off to our southwest, as we said, the Hattiesburg area. Uh, we're still good with sunshine, taking in most of Florida and parts of Georgia. And then the, the heavier weather today will be up Kansas City Way uh, on up through here through Milwaukee. So uh, we're good. We're going to have to watch this up here in uh, Nebraska and Iowa. These are here around Cedar Rapids, Iowa City. Uh, that's where it's going to be the, the worst today. Our forecast for today, as we go back to take a look at uh, what we've been predicted, sunshine somewhere between 85 to 87 today. Not too bad. We'll get down to 65 tonight, uh, a nice cool uh, temperature. Tomorrow is our best chance of rain, a 40% chance as we'll end the week, mostly after 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So the early morning hours, and you still do what you need to in the mornings, 84 for that high, and the continued 30% chance of rain into tomorrow night and returning on Saturday with a 30% chance of showers into the afternoon hours. Uh, as we look at uh, Sunday, rain moves out uh, and it'll be mostly sunny with a high of 84. So that's a quick look at what our weekend forecast is gonna have. Some rain chances, which we do need to get everything kind of calmed down from all of this. Uh, we looking forward to that. So uh, a great looking forecast for us over the next uh, couple of days as we head toward uh, the weekend, and we'll tell you here just a little bit about your extended forecast. All that's up and coming here with Scotty Ray's weather. During these challenging times, there are some things that you can count on every day. One of them is that Rick Justice Automotive will work hard to help you find just the right vehicle. Rick Justice has late model, low mileage vehicles and 72 months, 72,000 mile warranties available on all vehicles. Come see us today and we'll show you how we've been helping your friends and relatives find the car, truck or SUV that was right for them. We will earn your business. And welcome back with Scotty Ray and Candace. As we move into this Thursday, you feeling good today? I am. Are you really sure that you're feeling good today? <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm Look, feeling good. How long have you been always, married now? Well, since March. Since March. Uh oh, we've got our first spat since no, March. No, we ain't had a spat. It's we don't a have spat. spat. It is not a spat. What it's do you not. Call it I was then? joking with my husband and I said, Look, I'm gonna talk about you. <laughs> I don't think it was joking. No, it was joking. But like when I'm getting ready in the mornings, mm. I mean, I just I know how much time I got and I'm always I'm always last minute running verge or running late Imagine or running that. late i'm always i am i just you know and so <laughs> he jokes with he's doing it jokingly but he knows it gets on my nerves mm -hmm. so he just does it a little more but like when um he's ready to you know to go. Like, come on candace come on and i'm like uh quit i'm gonna hurt you with your hands <laughs> every now and then you got to be told what to do because you you probably are a little mm. high maintenance there at home of trying to get somewhere you know i can see you being that way Look, I, I feel like this is how I feel. I'm on a schedule every day, all day long. I'm on a schedule. So I get up 
early in the mornings, and so I'm trying to hurry up. And, you know, well, let me well, ask it this. takes me a good 20 minutes to just get awake. Do y'all share the same bathroom to get dressed in? Yeah, but he. You see, there you go. But he, no, he, we're not up getting ready at the same time usually. So, but I'm always last minute. So he helps me, and I mean, he he'll like get my coffee and get everything ready, and he's he puts it in the car for me. Look, I've been married 30 years, and that woman ain't never got my coffee. She, really? Wait a minute. When I was in the hospital about dying, she did bring me one. Oh, really? That was it. They well, ain't never been well he home. is good about. I mean, he helps me. He gets he gets my son, you know, in the car, gets his book bag. He'll get it, stuff like that. But I'm like, God, usually, imagine if you had I to actually do that. I guess I've been so late so many times, it just don't bother me no more. Yeah, because everybody <laughs> knows, Candace gonna be late. <laughs> Look, I said when I die, and everybody's in there waiting on my coffin to be brought in or my casket. You're gonna be just late. hold off about thirty minutes. Just hold <laughs> off. Don't wheel me. In. Don't have me in there waiting on everybody because that is oh. not how I am. Candace. Just wait. Kurt, I feel for you. Hang in there, brother. <laughs> As we turn to news stories uh, this morning, uh, we turn over to what's going on with uh, Lindemann, mm -hmm. uh, Weston. Uh, on his Facebook page, let me pull this up. He's got this listed as a rally coming up tonight mm -hmm. at City Hall beginning at 5, and it should last till 6. It'll be on the lawn there. Mm -hmm. And it goes on to say that it'll be political special speakers, Weston and Tommy Williams, mm -hmm. and citizens and other community leaders and activists that mm -hmm. we'll be speaking tonight. So we have a, no idea really what they'll be talking the about. The agenda is. Yeah. So, but if you do go, just know it's from 5 to 6 p.m. Correct. Like Scotty Ray said. And then, you know, the debate's also going to be tonight, the presidential debate. So, so you'll have to hurry home right after that to be able to hear it all. Right. So uh, good luck with you. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they, I know they've had a couple folks go out and protest, five or six at, at the time. I, this may be a big turnout. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, and also in the big news of the city of Meridian, we do have a new police chief. Congratulations to Chris Reed. Mm -hmm. Now, he's been with the police department a while, hasn't he? Yeah, I think, didn't you say since, what, 1999? 90, 99, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, uh, congratulations to him. Uh, Meridian did need a police chief um, yeah. to be named. And we're hoping that, you know, all works out well. and Correct. They can get everything in line like it's supposed to be. Yeah, there was a four-to-one vote on that. So, not, not too terribly bad on yeah. that, of the approval of that. And also, this didn't you tell me this happens every year? I want to say it happens every year. It seems like, you know, when they, they'll say if you have, because I don't think they like things just thrown in the garbage or flushed down right. the toilet if it's, if it's medication and stuff. Um, if you have, like, any kind of out-of-date drugs or stuff like that, leftover things. Or somebody passes away that right. had a bunch of medication, you can take it. Mm -hmm. uh, Bonita Lakes Mall, where the police station is inside the mall Saturday, from mm -hmm. 10 until 2, you can go in and you drop it, no no problems whatsoever. So yeah. that's a good way to, to get rid of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, as we look at other Mississippi news, uh, I did not I did not remember this happening, but I, I know it did happen. Mm -hmm. A Mississippi nurse has been convicted in an inmate's death. And you go, how would that happen? Well, he was arrested on drug charges, brought into jail, and she denied him insulin for a week because she thought he was going through withdrawals, but he was actually having... Horrible way to go. I mean, she, if she had any kind of question about it, I would think that she should have tested his blood sugar. Correct. Don't you think? Yeah, I mean, that would have been a great way to have done that. Right. But uh, she's going to the pokey. Mm. There is uh, no doubt about it at this point. Yeah, that's awful. And why did you keep this a secret from me? I, don't, <laughs> I, I saw that like a, a little while back. Not just the other day. I'm not far back. But, Reba has a, know. and she's dating a bald headed guy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that that was her kind of thing. Well, really, they make a good, like, as far as looking like they go together and knowing his character. And, you know, he's kind of got that southern accent, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I saw a picture of him, uh, another picture of those two together where he had a ball cap. And he's growing him out a little scruggly beard. Uh -huh. he, he looked cooler with the beard. Yeah. So, uh, Reba. I, I think it's a good thing. I thought I her and Ronnie good. Dunn, were, we were fisting here about that. And no, a left turn here for me. Ronnie Dunn? That's just what I heard. Really? Yeah, but I guess that was just a rumor. Oh. Well, I think this makes a little bit better couple. Anyway. He seems like a nice guy. Mm -hmm. So uh, good luck to Reba on that. Yeah, good luck. How long has it been since she's uh, been divorced from Normal? I don't know, but... Um, Didn't he she's ask had for some the bad, divorce? I think that's what I'd heard. She's had some bad... You know, um, runs of luck with the guys and stuff. So she but, might be a little demanding. I'm just saying, a woman like that being in charge, whoo. she might be. I don't know. Um, I, I saw her in concert years ago, and don't be pointing at me. <laughs> don't you be pointing at me. <laughs> I'm not a demanding person. Okay, sure. <laughs> but you saw her in concert. I did. I saw her in concert when she first started out, pretty much. 
Um, and we were at the Temple Theater. So. You know, and I have to say, to me, her best music was her early years. You came along, One Promise Too Late, Whoever's yeah. in New England. I really like that stuff. Yeah, I love listening to Reba in the earlier days, too. But, you know, there is a such thing as you can milk a song to death. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like too many runs, like, like something at well, the end, you know? you had uh, Martina McBride, a prime uh -huh. example of that, had, had the kind of like the activist moment uh -huh. or the woman that was abused songs that yeah. just kept going and going. And then Kenny Chesney with all mm -hmm. of the beach songs. I got tired of that. Yeah. But I'm talking about, too, you know how she has, how she sings. You oh, know? you mean like drag the actual song out? Yeah, like long? like a one-syllable word, she can make it into like a, a five so <laughs> You are going to get hurt. Do you realize what people will do to you saying something against I, Reba? Look, I love Reba McIntyre. I'm not saying anything oh, about I'm it. Oh, I'm just telling you, Well, crowds. go ahead. You I'm could sorry. like get out of your car and be whooped with a garbage can. <laughs> look, you know. I am just saying what a lot of people think. Look, I remember. I love her music. Mm -hmm. I do love her music. But there is certain, like at the end of the work, at the end of the run of a song. Yeah, something. let me just tell you, about 15 years ago, there was a conversation on the radio that mm -hmm. we had about Reba, and somebody made the mistake, wasn't me, because I mm -hmm. would never say that, <laughs> that Carrie Underwood was hotter than Reba. And oh my gosh. I really? Yeah, that was a naughty thing to say. And I was like, I ain't having no part of your conversation. Well, just, you know how, like if somebody sings the national anthem, if somebody sings Amazing Grace, do you know people sing it different? Yeah. You're going to be hanging up Christmas lights and somebody going to come get you. <laughs> they are not. I'm, look, I'm not trying to say anything ugly. I'm not. I'm just stating a fact. There you go. So, That's your opinion. I had yeah. nothing to do with it. It is my opinion. <laughs> Good morning to you. Now, this is one of those things that really had no business of ever, and I don't understand why the man done this. Mm -hmm. uh, conservative talk show host Michael Savage tweeted this out saying that uh, that Rush said too much about his, well, he's going to die. Yeah. And he took a moment, because Rush has gotten so many calls, people that are prayers, concerned about him, he went into the details of what's going on with him. Mm -hmm. And then this guy nails him on Twitter for doing that. Yeah, that is, that's so, to me, I think that's so wrong of this Michael Savage yeah. guy. And um, it's, uh, and he's getting backlash from that. And I just noticed that about is spelled wrong. You didn't okay. catch that. I did not. It's a bot. A bot. <laughs> well, going back to this guy, though, yeah. that is very wrong of him, I think, to say that. It's disrespectful because when somebody does have something like that, I mean, I've never had anything, you know, I've never had cancer, but when somebody does, and they speak about it publicly. Publicly, I would think it takes a lot it to does. put that out there because you know you thinking about it beforehand. I would imagine you think, well, I don't want to try to get sympathy. I'm not putting it out there for that. I want people to know, you know. Right. And so, I think that's just totally disrespectful. Like that, that time guy. I was trying to clip my toenail. Do you want me to talk about that? And I just couldn't reach it. <laughs> oh Lord. But, you know, in all seriousness, uh, you know, prayers yeah. for Rush. Right. As he said, limited time. He didn't give the timeline mm -hmm. of when it would be a great guy. He's been doing it for, I remember watching him on TV in the early 90s uh, when he had a show. But I would listen to him. Um, I would, well, I was on TV. I was just getting ready in the other room, and I could hear him. I would have it loud listening to him back in the 90s when I would be getting ready for work. But you can but, get him on, on, still online on your phone mm -hmm. at any time you want to. Uh, as we turn to what people are thinking about the election, because everywhere you go, no matter where you go, it's a talk about who do you think is going to win. Mm -hmm. uh, we even put it out there on, on Facebook, ask questions. People have been putting on there so far. It's overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, uh -huh. how do you say that word? Overwhelmingly. Yeah, that yeah. word. Mm -hmm. uh, people say in Trump in our area. Yeah. You go to other areas of the United States and they'll say, well, it's going to be Biden. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's some Biden supporters locally and more power to you, vote. Right. But this guy is one of the very few from 2016 that made the call of who was going to win. And the mm -hmm. pollster, again, is saying, and his name is Robert, I can't pronounce his last name, Shelley, mm -hmm. uh, is saying that Trump will win again by the hidden support of the people that just don't talk about it because they don't want to have their house egg, their, you know, right. Right. things of that. So could it happen? Yeah, you know, I... I'll be the first, one of the first to say that I have absolutely no idea which way this is going to go. It is. Uh, I hope that it, you know, it goes in the direction of Trump being reelected because, I mean, I just think that is a good thing. But who knows? I mean, who knows how it's going to I know um, I've heard that he's won a lot of the black men votes yeah. now. Um, that he's, oh, you know. Speaking of. 
50 Cent has come out and endorsed him. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know if you knew that. Because I know you listen to his. And ice, is ice, what is it? Ice tea? Ice. Ice, ice some ice cube ice, ice tea which the, the I guy think that it's was, ice cube isn't it that was ice are we there yet guy yeah. that was in that movie him yeah but he's uh he's Both done some them, work though. he's yeah. done some work with trump and it worked out uh-huh um yeah i mean i think there's a lot more people like you said that have um swayed towards trump than what they're letting on yeah it, it is out there um, now is there anybody that likes what happened to that last debate no uh no that, that was I, bad I mean, it, no i I think that, that was a disaster. It was. On and, both sides, really. And I tune but. that stuff out now. I just, I do. But he's mm -hmm. one of those that uh, you got to give him credit of. He's going to stand his ground. He does stand his ground. But, you know, it, it gets to the point where you're like, oh, that was a good point. And then he just keeps on going. Yeah, it won't hush. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> you need a, somebody with one of those air horns. <laughs> you're like, Bunk. They need, need to do hush. something uh, that triggers him to. They need a shot wrist. A, a wristband that's, <laughs> that's you know, the, a shocker. On the it. only person I think that he may listen to would be Avaka. Yeah. I, I, re, I don't think he would listen to Don Jr. He definitely ain't going to listen to his wife or anybody on his staff. Right. I think his daughter may be, mm -hmm. that's a smart woman. Well, you know, you feel like the, the cards are stacked against you. Yeah. Because of everything that's going on. And so I would be probably on the defensive too. Let you know. me tell you this. I don't know of another president that we've had in my lifetime mm -hmm. that could have took what he has and I still know. be there. Yeah. I don't know of another president that really has been bashed like him. Never. This is the first one. I think on it's that. so, even if you don't like somebody, even if you don't like them, I mean, why continuously bash them when they're the president of your country? You know, I don't know. I mean, I just, I think to other countries, we look like idiots doing we do. that. We do. We do. Um, um, I'm not going to add a lot of comment to this. I'm just, I, I'm going to say what it is in the news headline. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Pope, who has, um, he's, been, he's been the most different Pope there has ever been. But he came out with a statement, and Daily Mail carried this story, uh, where he now endorses same-sex same marriage mm -hmm. uh, and says that, you know, they deserve to be happy together. Um, take that for what, it, uh, for what it's worth. That's different. That's a touchy subject. Oh, I know it's very. a very touchy subject, but I feel like it kind of um, pretty much mirror images everything else that's going on right now yeah, with you go, people just picking and choosing how they want to change things to suit them. Yeah. You know. Uh, there was some right. church, I forget where it was, where the guy said, you know, I'm not even going to mention Jesus' name anymore because, well, it, it upsets my, my people. Mm -hmm. Like, have you lost your mind? Yeah. Uh, um. You know, somebody going to have to stand before somebody one day and answer for what they well, do. Well, I'm going to just say it. I mean, because I don't, I don't really care. I mean, I, I do care how people feel. But um, if you're a Christian and you love, you know, Jesus Christ and you have actually, you know, stood your ground, don't go with the flow and, and act like you can hide okay. the way you feel. Yeah, and everything's okay. Because it's not. It's not okay. And it's not okay to not mention god or jesus or what i mean it's just not i'm you know, sorry it's that uh it's that road divided there you're standing there at that crossroad what do you do right you can go where everybody else goes or go the right path right because you're denying his name and it yeah. specifically says to not deny his yeah name, i ain't so. be doing that i'm be, mm -hmm. i'm right i'm talking yeah <laughs> so, anyway <laughs> so that's in the news this week the, the pope a little different uh so yes. take it for what it's worth uh, that's a, a quick look at headlines around the nation today and uh, locally what's going on. Don't forget the debate tonight. Yes. And then mm -hmm. also we've got that little get together downtown on uh, on the cedar on the lawn. There. On the lawn the, of City Hall. City Hall. I, could, mm -hmm. I was going to say Cedar Hall. Yeah, and I want I want to let's I want to mention one more okay. thing. I, I meant to mention this a while ago, but I was reading through some news things, and it's Yale University has a professor that has a. Um, it's a class on happiness or something, okay. you know. And um, I don't know what, what makes you like happy. What gives you after I watched like, the, self, like gratification? The water boy, and they were talking about the little tiny bubbles that made him happy. That uh -huh. made, it popped in my mind when you said that. <laughs> um, you know, happiness it has changed through mm -hmm. the years. As a young man, you're you're wanting to be great at your career and and, mm -hmm. and achieve things. And the older you get, you realize that's not what life's about. You right. truly get that. And I can't tell you at what age that will click for you. 
I but know. it will happen. You know, when you're younger, if you're human, right? When you're younger, and I've told my children this. You know, life is full of different seasons. It is. You you go through these different seasons of your life. You know, when you're younger, you know, going out with your friends makes you happy. It seems like, and you don't think about stuff like religion and, and things like that. Correct. And then as you get older, you know, your children, having children, having a family, that makes you happy. And then then you get where a lot of people do at this point in our lives, where. Your kids are leaving home, and right. you're like, what do I do? You know, what makes me happy? And then some people seem to think going and doing things for themselves makes them happy. And oh, yeah, of buying a new car or right. buying the biggest house in, on the block makes you happy. Right, going and getting your hair done. And that makes you feel good, but totally happy, not so much. But this Yale professor says that a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that things that they do for Material themselves. Material things. Right. Makes them happy, but studies show that the best, the most happy people, or happiest people, um, get the most happiness for doing for other people. And so I was thinking, you know, you know, pay it forward type right, thing. Right, paying it know. forward makes people something the nice. most happy. Mowing so. somebody's grass that needs help when they're sick. Right. And so I've thought about it a lot of times, and I've always said, you know, try to do something for somebody else. But that, to me makes me most happy when I can help somebody else out or do something because there's so many people that do for other people and they never get recognized you know so you know, and at some point in your life as you talk about the seasons of your life it mm -hmm. will be to where just getting a phone call from a friend will be right. making you happy and right you think I'm joking I'm not right and you know and I've tried to you know talk to my kids and stuff about but in about really you know about going to church and doing things right and, um I don't know. It's it. You feel like it doesn't click really until they get to a certain age. But well, what what they learn at an early age comes back later. Mm -hmm. right. That that is the gospel. Right. But you know, doing for other people or just being with your family and spending time and doing things like that to me is the most happiest she, time. She so. wants to nominate her husband this week for going. <laughs> <laughs> no, he makes me happy. He really does. He's a he's a good husband. He's a good man. Um, and we joked about that. We were joking about that. I told him, I it's said, I'm going I'm to do something. I'm going to do something with those hands. I can't stand it. But, um, but if you know somebody that's done something, good, let us know. They need a, a little pat on the back there, a that -a boy, so to speak. Right, because, I mean, we'd love to be able to recognize them in some kind of way. And who knows, maybe, you know, in the near future we can have something. We could really recognize them, you know, yeah. like do something for them or something. So We'll work on that. Send us a message. You know, send us a message if you, um, I'm sure... Is there an email like they could send something Scotty to you, Ray, even though if you didn't 19, want to put it out there on a comment or something? Scotty Ray 1969 at AOL. Right. Or you can just send it inbox it uh, on Facebook. Right. Pretty easy. So, anyway, there I just go. wanted to slip that in there. Just a little something, you know, Happy positive. Happy from Candace. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for spending part of your morning with us. We'll uh, recap uh, a closer look in the extended forecast next. Here with Scotty Ray and Candace. Sanders Gas, Sanders Air and Heat is your full service propane supplier since 1946. We take pride in ensuring reliable, friendly service to our customers. We also provide safety tune-ups related to propane, air conditioning and heating systems, keeping our community efficient and safe. I'm Chuck Sanders and yes, we're local. And of course, Chuck and his gang can come out and check out your unit. Uh, they've got a big special price where they're taking care of things where they can come out and check your air conditioner for a tune-up. Uh, for forty nine ninety nine, if you think you got an issue, talk to them. Uh, pretty handy thing there. Maybe you got one of these in the mail. See them; they'll help you out there. And of course, they can get you a generator where you don't have to worry about your power going off as well. We'll talk more about that another morning, though. As we turn back to our, our weather forecast this morning, uh, it's going to be a nice day. We do have a, uh, a chance, uh, our first chance of rain for the week coming in tomorrow, and we'll have a chance on Saturday. So, all good news is as we go toward the weekend of possibly getting a little bit of the wet stuff again. Let's hope so. Uh, as we go back to, to radar here, let's pull up our weather here and look at our seven-day forecast of what we've got in store. At this point, it's going to be probably about Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, before we start seeing temperatures drop. We'll have those 80-degree weather all the way through the beginning of the week. And by Wednesday, we got a chance there of 77 to 80 still on Tuesday. And by Wednesday, We'll definitely be back into the 70s. Hopefully Tuesday will hold for us uh, as we looked at our climate uh, prediction center there. But again, our rain chances are for tomorrow and Saturday of 40 on Friday and 30% chance on Saturday. Hopefully we'll get that and we'll be able to uh, back away from all of this uh, where you can't really burn a whole lot outside because it is dry. 
uh, and we need that for our deer patches and whatnot. But uh, looking good for us today as we climb to that high. And again, it's going to be warm, 87 today. Warm, warm, warm. Uh, that's our forecast and how things are going to shape up over the weekend, over the next 10 days as November is coming. That is very close. Uh, I did see where uh, Carrie Underwood last night uh, won the top uh, award there from the CMT Music Video uh, last night at the award show, and that Shania Twain done a, a great performance. Always good to see her. She's a uh, member when her and Toby Keith did the, I don't know if y'all remember that, the Walmart tour when they first got together, when they got their record deal and they were going to Walmarts many, many moons ago. But I remember it like it was yesterday. And again, our condolences go out to the, uh, the family of the football coach from Southeast that was killed in a, a car accident yesterday. It's a sad situation. Our thoughts to the students and family of him. I uh, hate that that happened at all, but uh, condolences uh, do go out to him. Uh, as we get today going, uh, 64 right now as we get to later. Again, that high uh, reaching into about uh, 85 to 87. So warm day ahead of us. As you're speaking of warm weather, and we're just not out of it yet. You head to Freeman Tractor to take care of all your lawnmower needs. And right now, they've got that line. They've got a new shipment of your skags in. If you're looking for more, drop in and take a look at these. Take a ride around and see how comfortable these mowers are. They've got the Cheetah 2 that can handle up to 16 gallons, which means... You can cut all day without putting gas in it. Uh, any style, any size that you're looking for. And, of course, they've also got the X marks. And tractors, they've got cab and air conditioners. They've got uh, the open cabs with four-wheel drive uh, with different horsepower sizes that would fit what you're looking for. Plenty of implements to choose from, bush hogs, single wide, all the way up to a, a bat wing. And, of course, if you're looking for a new disc, yours has got some issue and it's just not worth repairing. No, you've never had one. See them. Box blades to fix those driveways. Forks, hay forks, all of that's there, including the Benchy. This is their newest line. These are made in Texas. You can see them. Go by for a test drive on one of these. As the winter months come, I've pushed this to you several times of cabin air conditioning, windshield wipers where you don't have to get cold to go work the cows or go check on your timber, whatever your need is that you're doing outside during those winter months. They can get that for you in no time flat. Of course, the Benchy, they have the, the 550 Series Tan. You can get these in green, the T-Boss, the Racing, if you're into that. They've got those. That's a cream-colored desert storm color there along with the camouflage. It just may be uh, your preference on what you're looking for. Again, see them today. That's Freeman Tractor just off Highway 19 there in Sicilina. Good folks will take care of you. Go by and get all of your uh, lawnmower supplies there for them. Uh, again, thank you for being a part of this. Like, share, tell a friend about this. As we continue the preparedness this week for bad weather for our winter months, for November and December, keep that in mind as we always have tornadoes in those months. I'll be here to track that for you street by street as it gets close to you. Again, thanks for spending part of your day with me. Scotty Ray's Weather is brought to you by 